Welcome to EV Zone YouTube channel. In this episode, we highlight the blind spots of mass EV adoption and the challenges we face with our current grid infrastructure, including EV charging and its impact on the grid, and explore the intricate technology that drives these innovative machines. I am your host, Max, and I'm excited to guide you through this electrifying journey. Electric vehicle adoption and environmental sustainability. Mass EV adoption, they said. In fact, there are thousands, if not millions of EVs in car yards ready to be sold around the world today. The world could change overnight if everyone suddenly switched to EV. But, have you ever wondered how a world full of EVs would impact our power grid? Could it handle the surge in demand? Or are we on the brink of an energy crisis? Today, we'll uncover the hidden impacts of EV charging on the grid and what it means for all of us, EV owners and non-owners alike. Let's imagine a world where everyone drives electric vehicles. Exciting, right? But here's the challenge. Our power grid wasn't built to handle this seismic shift. Point number one. Increased demand for electricity with millions, maybe billions of EVs plugged in for charging, the demand for electricity would skyrocket. Experts predict that this could lead to grid overload during peak hours, especially in areas where the infrastructure is already stretched thin. Think of the power grid as a highway. If too many cars enter at once, traffic jams are inevitable. And that brings us to point number two, peak load challenges. Most EV owners are likely to plug in their vehicles after work just when everyone is cooking dinner, watching TV and using appliances. This coincides with the existing evening peak for electricity usage. The result, even more stress on the grid during its busiest hours. Without proper strategies, like off-peak charging incentives or smart charging systems, this could lead to blackouts, brownouts, or worse, entire neighborhoods left without power during high demand periods. Addressing these challenges won't come cheap or easy. This leads us to point number three, infrastructure upgrade requirements. The current grid wasn't designed to handle this kind of load. We're talking about replacing transformers, upgrading substations, and reinforcing power distribution lines. These projects could take years, costing billions of dollars. And guess who will bear those costs? Spoiler alert, we'll all feel it in our wallets. Which brings us to point number four, increase in electricity prices. High demand for electricity and the need for grid upgrades will inevitably raise electricity costs. Utilities may pass these costs directly to consumers, meaning higher bills for everyone, whether you own an EV or not. For EV owners, this could reduce the cost advantage of electric cars over gas vehicles. And for non-EV users, it might feel unfair to pay for infrastructure changes they don't directly benefit from. Finally, let's talk about point number five, renewable integration and stability issues. While renewable energy sources like solar and wind farms are being heavily promoted to meet rising electricity demands, they come with a significant challenge. 
reliability. Unlike fossil fuels, which can provide consistent energy output, renewables are inherently variable. The sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow, making it difficult to ensure a steady and dependable energy supply without significant advancements in storage and grid infrastructure. To balance supply and demand, we'd need highly advanced energy storage solutions and smarter grid management systems. Without these, renewable energy sources like solar and wind may fall short in providing consistent, reliable power. This might necessitate fallback measures, such as relying on fossil fuel plants to stabilize the grid, which could undermine the environmental benefits of transitioning to EVs. Do policymakers or those in authority pushing for this transition anticipate these bottlenecks? Most likely, yes. Perhaps they're holding off on addressing them until the majority have switched to EVs, then implement solutions later. That's for you to decide. What do you think? But don't get discouraged. These challenges are not insurmountable. Governments, utilities, and tech innovators are already working on solutions. From dynamic pricing to encourage off-peak charging to large-scale battery storage that can stabilize the grid. Transitioning to an EV future requires planning, investment, and collaboration. And with the right steps, we can ensure the grid is ready for this revolution. Electric vehicles have the potential to become the future of transportation, but they also come with challenges we must tackle head on. The question isn't whether we should switch to EVs, it's how we can do it sustainably and equitably. So what do you think? Is our current grid infrastructure ready to handle mass EV adoption or are we underestimating the strain on our grid? At EV Zone, we believe open discussions can lead to great discoveries. Here we consider both sides of the coin and welcome all viewpoints to explore new possibilities. In the search for greener energy options, we encourage our audience to join in and share their ideas. Each of us has unique, creative contributions to offer. So if you have something to share, reach out to us and we'll create a video to share it with our audience. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Share them in the comments section below. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey to the world of EVs. Whether you're an enthusiast or simply curious about the future of transportation, stay tuned for more exciting content on EV Zone. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video to support our channel.